Hi everyone, my name is Anton Smith and I'm a staff support engineer here at GitLab and today I will be showing you all how to install the GitLab for Jira Cloud app via the Atlassian Marketplace for GitLab.com. Okay, so on the left part of the screen share you'll see uh, where I'll be completing all the steps required and then on the right side of my screen is the documentation that I will be following along to um, set all this up so you can follow along with me. So um, if we navigate to this page here, um, what I'm highlighting right now, so the GitLab for Jira Cloud app, this page talks about what the actual app does. It then goes on to talk about, you know, what data we sync to Jira once everything is uh, configured. But uh, what we're interested in is how do we install the GitLab for Jira Cloud app? So uh, we've got some prerequisites that we just need to check off first. So uh, the first one is your network must allow inbound and outbound connections between GitLab and Jira. So in this case, GitLab is gitlab.com and Jira is Jira Cloud. So that's anything with um, .atlassian.net in the domain name. So both of these are SaaS services and they are publicly available, so we don't need to worry about this requirement so much. Uh, so we can tick that off. Uh, the next one is you must meet certain Jira user requirements. So if we take a quick look at that, uh, we do need to ensure that within our Atlassian organization that our Jira user is set up to be a member of either the org admins or the site admins group. So if you need to check that while you're logged into Jira, you can go into the cog up here and go to user management. Alternatively, you can go to admin.atlassian.com in your browser. And what we want to do is under directory, we want to go to groups. And in this list, you should have either a org admins or a site admins group. Now, in my case, I have site admins. If you are missing both org admins and site admins, just uh, pick one and create the group. But uh, what I'm going to do now is just verify that if I go into here, I can see that my user Anton uh, is part of the site admins group. So um, from that um, vantage point, we are satisfying this prerequisite requirement here. So we can actually go ahead and install the GitLab for Jira Cloud app. So in Jira, on the top bar, select apps, explore apps, and search for GitLab Jira Cloud. So let's do that. Okay, here we are. Now we just click the get it now button. Get it now. Okay, so since it's now added, let's uh, get started. And let me just scroll down here because we've kind of jumped into this next section. So we've already just gone through these steps here, number one and two, and number three. Now we're at number four. So we're not using a self-managed instance, so we can just directly sign into GitLab. Uh, because that won't actually appear um, when you're using the Atlassian Marketplace. So sign in. Now, I'm already signed in as a user called Jira Deep Dive on GitLab.com. So you're going to see this pop up, authorizing access to GitLab. And this is what actually populates the next section. So um, the GitLab for Jira Cloud app needs to be able to talk to GitLab so you can set up the group links. So the group links are basically instructing GitLab any projects within these groups, I want these projects to sync information back to Jira. So if we go into here, link groups, now um, only groups that you are a maintainer or higher will appear here. So in my case, I've only got the one group. So if I click link, okay, now my uh, group has been linked. So any projects within here should start syncing to Jira. And any uh, changes moving forward should appear in Jira as well. 
Thank you.